I'm going to tell you this. When nobody gets sick, when marriages actually last, people don't lose their father, and I can firmly believe that there's no one of you no more war, then I'll start believing in God. Uh, like, no, 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 Because in order for things to be done, they have to be chaos. It's just a border of faith. The thing about God, yeah, though. But the thing is, we all need something to believe in. Whether it's God or it's something higher than us. Yes, that's a good thing. That's a great point. But with me being me, I believe in spirit. Yes. Well. And I also believe what's in front of me, like Earth. Because it's here, and eventually Mother Earth will, you know, rebel against us. Well, to put it bluntly, you know, God didn't die for any swine, any dog. He didn't die for any reprobate. He's going to turn wait, wait, wait. people over. God didn't die. God, God, meaning sending His Son in the flesh on the die on the cross for the sins of those that'll have it. He didn't die for any dog. He didn't die for any swine. He didn't die for the reprobate mind, which most people are going to be turned over to a reprobate mind. When they rebel and they re when they blaspheme and they deny his the very existence, at that point there's really no hope for him. And I'm glad I didn't get to that point. I mean, even if, okay, 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 even if we're wrong, what's the worst thing that would happen? Okay, if we die, we rot. That's it. Okay, but if we're right. I tell you, man, I mean, the consequences of eternity is a long time, okay? This is what really scare me. The mere thought of dying, letting I'd hell wide open. I'd live completely doing something I enjoy doing or doing something that is basically contradicting what I believe in. Now, question. How old do you think the Earth is? In your honest opinion, how old do you think the Earth is? To be honest with you, I really don't know. And I think, uh, regardless of how old the world is, it goes right back to what I've had to experience. I had to do some independent searching. I didn't, I, there's no way I could just rely on what all these mainstream preachers, priests, evangelists, leaders of all kinds that had their own ideas. Uh, anybody that has any kind of strong influence. I, I, I felt very uncomfortable relying on just any one source. I had to do my own indirect. I had to experience it myself. And everything else I experienced, to be honest with you, was trash. I mean, I wasn't at peace. I was never happy. But when I finally repented of my sins, honestly, and got my life right with God, willing to make any earthly sacrifice necessary to get my right, my life right with God, then I was at peace. I could actually, I actually had some joy in my life. Yeah, I've had this.